Topic. Indonesia is set to introduce incentives on EV purchases this month in a bid to boost adoption. Its EV industry is buoyed by rich nickel resources and has attracted foreign investors, including those from Singapore. Saiful Bari Ismail finds out how such companies are gaining a foothold in Indonesia. The Indonesia International Motor Show, which ended recently, featured some 45 companies. One of them is Ion Mobility from Singapore. It was a chance for the company to showcase its very own electric motorcycle, the M1S. We're using these trade shows to do what I call incrementally soft but more firmer launches to appear more uh, frequency-wise in the eyes of our consumers. And uh, when our factory is up, when our uh, dealership experience center is up, that's when we will um, shout a lot harder and, and bring ourselves more directly into the hands of the, of the customers. The bike is designed and engineered in Singapore and the company is planning to start its assembly line in Indonesia by the end of this year. The production plant for the M1S will be located in Karawang, West Java, with a target to assemble up to 5,000 units per year. This is a pre-production version of the M1S electric bike, and this motorcycle has a top speed of 110 kilometers per hour. On a fully charged battery, this motorcycle can travel a total distance of 150 kilometers. Ion Mobility also plans to move its battery production facility from Singapore to Indonesia. The company believes it can achieve a high local content requirement for its electric bike. We we're planning for 50% by the end of this year and we're gunning for 80% by the end of next year. Uh, I, I think the ability to design and implement our own production line and uh, facilities is what differentiates us from other players where we are able to then achieve these high percentages very quickly from day one. Oika is another Singapore EV company in Indonesia providing battery swap stations for electric bike users in the greater Jakarta region and more recently in Bali. Users don't need to buy batteries, and they simply exchange depleted batteries for fully charged ones. Adoption is very slow. It's because of the inconvenience of having to charge at home. If you use the bike for business, for instance, your delivery riders, you need to do a lot, a lot of trips. You cannot afford to charge the batteries during the normal office hour where you're supposed to be working. You need this thing to keep on moving. So you need to have the experience same as normal uh, uh, bike out there that you just go to petrol station, you pump in the petrol and you just move. The Indonesian government also plans to double down on lowering the adoption barrier by making it cheaper to own an EV. It's providing purchase incentives such as tax cuts for electric cars and subsidies for electric bikes. Observers believe these incentives will boost demand for EVs. The mindset is still not there because the mindset of having a, a two-wheeler or four-wheeler is, is more towards a lifestyle kind of angle, not is a usage kind of angle yet as a normal daily life uh, usage. So I think in terms of consumer angle, this year will be a year to kick off and see a lot of sales uh, going to increase in, in terms of volume. Yeah. Indonesia has the world's largest reserves of nickel and it's making itself indispensable for the electric vehicle industry which uses the metal extensively. It's determined to attract investments from big automakers and the negotiations with Tesla have entered its final stage and industry players believe this will boost Indonesia's EV ambitions if the deal goes through. If you look into why China is one of the biggest EV uh, user in the world, it's because at the beginning, they invite Tesla to go in to compete with their own local manufacturer. Right? By doing that, their own local manufacturer upgraded themselves to benchmark to the world standard. Indonesian authorities expect EVs to account for 5% of total vehicle sales this year and twice that share in 2024. EV companies, both local and foreign, hope to ride on the government's push as it signals its ambition to be a major player in the global EV market. Saifulbari Smile, CNA, Jakarta.